All right, just getting lined up. We had a guy who wanted to sit and look at his monitor rather than hit the blue button, so it was eight minutes of wasted video. No need for that. We'll have a nice quick video here. 40 laps at Stafford in the SKs. The setup is fairly loose. Can't really use the apron until it gets tight. And, uh... We're just going to avoid getting stuck on the outside, I hope. We got Gavin right behind us, Tracy and Mitch up front, as you expect. We got James and Alan in the back. And, well, James isn't all the way at the back. Alan is, he's starting on the last row. One to go, next time by. I don't think I've ever seen either of them in the Modifieds. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna try to have a good race here. We're supposed to finish fourth. We'll see what we can do with that. Just need to be patient and uh, not get caught up in anything dumb, which can happen here. With the loser set, it could happen a little easier. So. But the looser set is better because it actually is going to provide some sort of racing. Get a decent start there. Ease it on here. And then it's going to get Gavin around the 7 as well. Stay above the white line, which is not something we normally do here. Once it starts getting tighter, then we'll drop down to our normal apron. But at the moment, just uh, right around. We'll watch Tracy and Mitch cross each other over. They're two tenths quicker than everyone else in the field, even when they're sliding around like that. Nineteen ones are my limit. They're in eighteen nines for qualifying, so that is not our battle. I don't know if we've even got anything for Jack. Uh, I don't think we're familiar with him, so he does have a 2.8 B safety rating, so we got to watch out for some wall hits. But right now we're just bringing the car in. I don't want to start getting too loose. Um, it might not recover. I don't think I've ever had that happen in the Modifieds, but I don't want to have to deal with that because we're not going to be able to drive through it very well. Jeffrey is in sixth behind Gavin. He's always fairly quick, so I have to watch out for that. Mitch going back down under Tracy. Someone has wrecked and put it in the fence out of as long as these guys stay side by side, it's going to help everyone keep up with them, but if they get single file, uh, it could get pretty bad on how bad they beat us. But then if we add the six car into it, who knows uh, how he's going to race them. He might see all these big dives and crossovers and go for it. Hopefully, everyone can keep it clean, but they're going to line up for a second, it looks like, and pull away, get a gap. Gavin is closing in on us a little bit. And we have a lap car, that is Ryan. He's got a slightly higher ping than everyone else out of the UK, so just got to be conscious of that if we get to him. Nineteen point two 
normally go that line, but it didn't really want to turn in there for me, so that's where we end up. Set will get tighter. It's already starting to a bit. I didn't even see how Mitch got back in front of him. But lap traffic time, and uh, yeah, who knows how that's all going to go. Up out of the way. Car outside, 19.169. Outside, clear. Peters have pulled away quite a bit now. Let's see if we can reel them back in. Probably not. Looks like we're a bit outclassed by the top three. 19.248. I mean, I ran the best lap I've ran in qualifying, and then we still qualified fifth, so I'm very surprised the seven vanished like he did when he qualified fourth, but he must have just, uh, that outside start just kept getting shuffled, or it was a little too easy getting down. Alright, starting to get tighter. Starting to think about apron usage, at least in one and two. They're just walking away now. But two more lap cars coming up, so can always get a very lucky unfortunate break for some positions, but I don't think we're going to gain anything unless uh, Jack starts falling off. He's getting a little loose, but nothing too much. It's a session best just to kind of track our lap time. Tracy back on the inside of Mitch. I think whoever can be ahead when they get to heavier lap traffic will have the best chance of winning it. They're not going to be able to do a bunch of swapping through lap traffic and it could provide that little break gap in distance they need from each other. though. Reel in the six in, but making a pass with the modifieds here is very difficult. Just because there is really no breaking zone to make the pass, so it requires a bump or a dive bomb or a mistake by the person in front. He does not look like he's making any mistakes. Although he just got really loose there. Well, we got it right around the white line. The lap traffic is holding the racing line, so that is going to be interesting. And move up. That's James in the white car, possibly. Couldn't do anything there. 
weight on it. I think he's getting kind of loose. We are out of time, 12 laps, and really, we can't even get to his bumper to even try a little nudge into the corner. Oh, he got loose there. He's going to come up and block us. Got one spinning. He's going to overdrive that car backwards. Could not see that. That unfortunately puts a pretty big gap there. Got more cars wrecked. And we got a terrible corner there. All right, settle in. He is going to overdrive and get way too loose doing that. So hopefully he keeps doing it. We get a bit too sideways mid corner, but don't lose the gap. A little too much rotation for me. More lap traffic ahead. We got four different cars. Someone up in the fence. He is down to the apron now. He's coming back up the track. I couldn't be too careful there, otherwise we'd lose all of our time. The seven has gone a lap down after certain fourth. It's not worked out for him. Got a good run there. Bad run there. A little too loose trying to get back on it. Our one advantage is this guy is really aggressive in lap traffic could put him in a bad spot. I just Three hope he was going to go up high enough because I don't want to get down on the apron right now. Couple more left. He gets loose. Tried to get it hooked up down there. Both lap cars getting out of our way, it looks like. Maybe a little bump. Get a good drive off the corner. He's got nothing for it. Tracy going for the win. And yeah, he was trying to dive. That wasn't going to work. Looks like Mitch got it. We get third. Good race. I thought we were going to get cleaned out there, but he, uh, he got on the brakes hard there to avoid hitting us. So we just... Uh, I don't know if we actually hit him or not to get him loose there. We didn't even get a 0x, but... We will go back and look at that. There was a lot of other things going on, but good fun race there and a sort of last lap pass. Let's go take a look at that. Did we get into him? 9387.
Oops. It might have been prediction code contact. But I mean, that is about as light as you could possibly ever do it on a short track. And then we didn't go down and hinder ourselves there. Luckily, he didn't turn down and get us. Almost contact there. And then I make sure to not turn in too early. He gets a okay drive out, but doesn't really. And then we go ahead and just come down here. He gets on the brakes hard. He was heading off into the dirt. He turned in way too hard. Yeah, he was going to wipe us out if he didn't back out of that. So, And it's not like I went all the way down to the apron. We just clipped it. But good fun race there. Let's go take a look at what all happened out there because there was a lot of cars that look like they wrecked. First, let's just watch the 7 start here. He gets a bad start because he's not up on the car. That's going to allow me to go through. And then I believe Gavin gets up here. Seven's just being safe there. He probably could have got down. And then he's going to get freight trained again here with Jeffrey. And then James looking down low. But let's go take a look at all the incidents. And, well, set up shop getting loose and spinning in a fixed setup race. James doesn't know the sevens there, turns down, and they go spinning. We got the 13. He's going to hit the wall. And he gets sent up the wall, and then him and the 14 go sliding through on to pit road then spins it out comes up the track and yeah that could have been bad does he go forward because right now he's in reverse oh boy oh boy what are you doing you got a big open infield oh boy oh no and that guy picked picked wrong he saw him backing up and just overreacted. Upside down. Then, 13 getting loose, into the wall, he has climbed the fence again. Nearly gets Mitch and Tracy. And that's it. So, wasn't as many things as I thought happened, but Let's go watch uh, this last lap battle. Mitch held on to it. A little bump there. Uh, gets down. Mitch is able to get it to rotate on the high side. They nearly come together. Tracy's got to pull it down there. And uh, Mitch gets the win, so... Let's uh, take a look at the results and go... Well, you've already seen the 87's race, however long it is. I'm about to go do it. I don't want to do it, but we're going to do it because it'll be content. Um, 44 I rating, 9 safety rating, and uh, P3. Very good, clean race for P3. So, zero incidents all the way up there. 13 up to 14 incidents. He had a rough time. So, uh, yeah, there's something about the less incidents you get, the higher you can finish. Obviously, in a uh, no-caution race, that makes more, more sense. Second split, do we know anyone? We might, but I don't see any names that I know. So, where did Allen get? We didn't look at that. He ends up getting 7th from last place, so he just keeps it somewhat clean and out of the fence. But uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.